<laughs> Hello, you corny sods. Something's different about this coffee time of Cobra. And if you may not have noticed it, it's, um... Well, it's... It's right there. I'm kind of pointing to it. So if you're watching me on an audio podcast, I'm pointing to the sponsor of today's video, coffeebrandcoffee.com. Links are in the description. I'll discuss more about that in today's Coffee Time with Cobra. Which, as of recording, I don't have any of the luscious coffee from the quartering a man who I have been following for quite some time. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of a discussion about this, why, why I chose to apply. Now, this is the thing. I chose to apply for this sponsorship, and I got it. So thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for reaching out and reaching out to a lunatic like me, <laughs> recording videos in my bedroom slash office. But most importantly, guys, I want to thank him because he has put up with a lot in his life. A lot of turmoil, and recently he had a tragic loss, and I, I feel for you, my friend. I, I lost my father at a very young age. Mm. Biscuits for today. Ginger nut. From Aldi. But... Most importantly, guys, he has decided to go out on his own and make his own coffee company. Completely apolitical. Don't care if you're a lefty or righty, Democrat, Republican, even a commie. Doesn't matter. We all drink coffee. I do. As you guys know. See? Coffee. And I've been watching this man's videos since he had a Magic the Gathering channel. As you guys know, I play Magic the Gathering. I don't hide that fact. I'm a geek. I play it both online as well as the actual physical cards. I go to my local hobby store, Eclectic Games. Go check them out. Um, but most importantly, guys, um, he said enough. He started his own parallel economy. And that's the one thing I need you guys to understand is I'm a big proponent of parallel economies. Bitcoin, um, 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 you know, cryptos, not NFTs. NFTs are just scams. I'm sorry, they are. They're just scams. But things like crypto, shop local, things of that nature. Buy. Why buy from a big box store like Asda, you know, Aldi, Safeways, uh, Walmart, Kmart, you know, things of that nature. Why buy from them knowing that that money is going to some corporate suit's pocket and not actually going to your local community when I can buy from someone who I know is supporting not only himself and his family, but also his his workers. And, and he, he owns his own roastery. He owns his own building. He bought it. He has anywhere between 35 and 50 people on staff. And he pays their salary in this economy. You better believe I am going to go out of my way to support such brands like, well, this way. I'm going to get used to that. Coffeebrandcoffee.com. Again, guys, the links will be in the video description. Please check it out, okay? They've got tons of five-star, four-star reviews, you know, and he ships across the whole of the U.S. He's getting ready, uh, 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 you know, he's, he's doing his best to, to get to the point where he can ship international. And you know what? When he does, guaranteed there will be bags of coffee, brand coffee, in my cupboard. I've tried to get some of Tim Paul's coffee, Rise with Roberto Jr., uh, Appalachian Nights, things of that nature. I've tried to get some of their coffee, but they don't export to the UK, where I'm currently staying. Currently, keyword, that's another bit of good news. Um, as you guys know, I've been having this uh, issue with US immigration. That 
that was weird. I've been having this issue with US immigration. Anyway, and so well, I've got the majority of those issues sorted, which means once I finished my uh, cybersecurity level two and gotten all the certificates and, and, and stuff, comp tay and everything else and all that, what and my Python coding classes and everything else all done, I will be a fully fledged cybersecurity specialist, which means I will be able to file for a work visa and able to take my happy little butt back across the pond, back to where I belong, which is home. Now, my dilemma is where do I call home? I'm not calling Utah home, even though I still have friends and family there, and I will visit. That's the thing, I will visit. It's just I can't call that state home. Okay? I can't call that state home. So I'm thinking about calling somewhere like New Mexico, Texas, um, home. Maybe East Coast, so you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia maybe. You know, probably Georgia. I wouldn't mind Georgia. Uh, probably with Georgia is, is the power grid. Uh, in Georgia is not the best so like I said I, I've got to take a look at where I, again this is all premising on a whole bunch of other things but anyway Jeremy thank you for allowing a small little channel like mine to try and survive the fact that you are going out of your way to offer this opportunity to me means a lot to me thank you and for me the whole Cobra Nation all of my followers all of my loyal followers all of my loyal friends family you name it we thank you from the whole of our heart thank you and to all my followers who buy my merch who yes see merch who buy my merch who who, who follow me on twitch on youtube whatnot please go check them out just it, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything to check out our website seriously guys just go take a look at the website just take a look there might be something there you know i know he does deals for things like halloween seasonal falls um, mother's day father's day christmas things of that nature so you know check it out and he doesn't just do coffee he does teas he does cocos he does uh he, he even does uh, nuts and candies so if you if you like you know have a hard time trying to find you know like walnuts or chestnuts or something like that in particular he might have them in a specific flavor that you like who knows you won't know until you check out the link links in the video description down below anyway now that i have panhandled this lovely sponsor <laughs> thank you by the way jeremy i have been a big fan of his for quite a while i don't like how wizards of the coast treated him so i even stepped down as a wizard judge as you know i was a level one almost level two judge for magic the gathering i i actually said i'm not not working for you guys anymore plus the fact that we didn't get paid we were giving up our weekends um to to hand, deal with stress and and, and and a whole bunch of other stuff we weren't getting paid we had to study i mean at one point the rule book is like this thick it's thicker than an encyclopedia and we have to know that page to page cover to cover and if in doubt we have to get a level two three you know judge involved and when i saw what wizards of the coast was doing to jeremy over the fact that he called them out on that bad card stock that they had a couple of releases ago where the cards were literally curling inside the packets you know and and stuff like that that to me is someone trying to hold someone accountable and responsible for what their actions exactly you cheap out on your card stock your cards suffer your com your player base suffers your company suffers if you cut too many corners think about this okay if 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 uh, oil company a cuts too many corners and it causes an oil spill they have to clean it up they're going to get fined people will go to jail lawsuits will happen so and that only happens when people and I mean this, when people like Jeremy, like myself, call other people out. And that's what we do. I want to hold people to a higher standard and to a higher uh, uh, accountability and responsibility. There were days, when, there were times when leaders would fall on their own swords 
rather than 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 be have their honour disdained by by you know the fact that that people would think less of them. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. It's time we start holding people accountable for their actions. We start holding people responsible. Fauci needs to be held responsible. World World Economic Forum. Who? Uh, uh, The NHS. All these people. Every goddamn news station and report. They say, get the Pope, get the Pope, get the Pope, get the Pope. All these late night TV shows. Colbert with his dancing fucking syringes. I'm sorry. Do you understand that you have actually broken the rule, the, 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 the humanitarian laws of the Hague? Seriously, look it up. Look it up. And the fact that if you actually follow the the ten, then I think it's not nine or ten rules that that scientists have to follow since uh, uh, these laws were were put in. That COVID jabs break every single one of those rules. But I'm I'm not going to talk about the pokey rules anymore. Other than than the fact that I will be um, here soon looking at getting legal representation to sue the NHS. End of. And to sue Pfizer. And Moderna. Because they knew, they knew that the poke weren't going to work. They knew. They didn't care. See, here's the thing. Taxpayers paid for it all, but they made all the profits. Again, that doesn't make sense. So, why is it okay for them to make all the profits, but not have to pay anything up front? No, 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 no. That's not how it works. So, if it was up to me, um, like I said, I'm going to look at trying to start a class action lawsuit sorry guys my pain levels are a bit high Uh, if you guys don't know i've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia as well as um some other health conditions so i'm having to take a lot of uh, medication uh in the mornings uh just so i can also i've osteoarthritis which isn't which isn't indicative to my health um, which is why I'm choosing to take a job like cybersecurity. Is where my old job, being a bouncer, I used to be quite physically active and, and and whatnot. I still go to the gym, you know. I still work out, you know. You know, I still work out. I'm still fit for my my, my age. I'm 43, you know. I know I don't look it, but I am. And um, so yeah, this has been a very interesting um, few weeks for me. Anyway. Health-wise, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. The fact that, you know, again, such awesome sponsors. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And before you ask, no, this is not a financial sponsorship. This is literally, I want to support Jeremy. I want to support him. I want to support his company. And he's willing to give me that chance. He's he's literally saying, okay, here's a link. If you click that link, it tells him how many of you guys are willing to, to look at his products, things of that nature, and if he's willing, it, it's a return on investment link, if that makes sense. Basically, you click that link, that literally tells him on the back end that you've clicked my link, okay, and that you've looked and, 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 and you know, things of that nature. And if, it, if I get enough clicks, you know, things of that nature, do have a promo code. If you do, use the promo code DECP, uh, so that's D E C P capital letters D E C P and you will get five percent off your first order. So there is that. Yeah, we do have that. But like I said, guys, like I said, we do have that. So ain't gonna grumble at that. And so yeah, so like I said. Uh, links will be in the description down below. Normally, the coffee times of COVID finished when the coffee is finished. But sadly, I need some of this coffee to take my tablets and get me started on my day. And so until then, guys, keep your line, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you guys later on today on Twitch.
Ciao, guys.